Welcome to our channel. In this video we will review some facts about different types of fabrics. But before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. The fabrics you see in your daily life all have distinct names and functions. These various textiles are used in many different sorts of garments. The same is true for furniture, drapes, rugs, and other daily essentials. Knowing about materials is helpful whether you're constructing your own garment or starting out a new hobby. The durability of a cloth is also important depending on its application. But which one should you use to begin your DIY project? Which one did grandma purchase from that store? Which one is superior for stitching fabric? While we may not know exactly what you're looking for, we offer a wide range of textiles for you to consider. Fabric definition. Fabric is a woven or knitted material that can be used for a variety of purposes. It can be used for upholstery, clothing, architecture, and many other things. Fabric materials can come from vegetables, plants, and even animal skin. Textiles and cloth. What is textile? Interlaced fibers are used to make textiles. They can be found on your carpets or in medical equipment, textile fabrics. Geotextiles, on the other hand, are fabrics used in building, specifically around the soil. Meanwhile, other fabrics have a fishnet structure, which makes them abrasive. Cloth is fabric formed from felt, weaving, or knitting. By definition, cloth material includes wool, cotton, and tiny fibers. Cloths, on the other hand, are not that dissimilar to fabric and textiles. The only difference is how they were created. We now understand the definition of cloth. Now, let's look at the various fabric varieties that may be found everywhere. There are a lot of them out there. So here's a list of fabric types and the materials manufactured from them. Canvas. Many painters utilize canvas as a medium to create their work. This is because canvas is made from long-lasting cotton and linen fibers. Canvas fabric can even become waterproof if the proper methods are followed. While most people identify canvas with painters, it can also be used for outdoor upholstery or picnic blankets. Chantilly. Tulle and chantilly blend well together in many formal outfits. Chantilly is a French term that means to whip or taste. Nonetheless, they named it Chantilly after the location where it was constructed rather than the word. Despite being mass-produced globally, it remains a very pricey fabric in modern times. Chenille. Chenille fabric is a form of cotton that has fragments of fibers emerging from it. Designers use this fuzzy fabric to make sweaters and beds. Chenille upholstery fabric is a popular choice for artists who want to cover chairs, couches, and other furniture with a thicker version of velvet. It's also one of the toughest textiles available. This makes chenille fabric an excellent choice if you want your product to have a highly solid hue as well as exceptional durability. Cotton. Cotton is the most popular fabric among consumers worldwide. Cotton has been produced for centuries using various lengths of fiber. Cotton fabric is commonly used in t-shirts, bedsheets, and even some dresses. This is due to the wide variety of cotton fabrics available. Cotton fabric, despite its utility, has a sad history. Slave owners compelled their slaves to work in cotton fields in the 1800s, and they were frequently abused. Slavery was common among Southerners at the time, and it is still a topic of discussion in current society. Crepe. Crepe is one of those stylish fabrics that attracts your eye right away. Many fashion designers utilize it for their high-end suits. They regard it as a dress fabric that weighs less than it appears. Crepe is also used by interior designers for furniture upholstery and cushion covers. It can be made of wool, synthetic fabric, or cotton. The most visible quality of crepe fabric is that it wrinkles readily, which is why most items produced from it should be steamed. Mesh Deco Deco mesh has a fishnet texture that resembles burlap. They mainly come in plain hues. It is weather resistant due to its durability. It is frequently utilized in outdoor decorations and flower arrangements. Unlike the other fabrics listed here, the fabric is frequently bonded with heat. Deco mesh is divided into several kinds, including poly burlap mesh, metallic mesh, basic mesh, and so on. Denim. Denim is one of the most well known of the various types of fabrics described here. It's a popular fabric for clothing, and it's used to make jeans, jackets, purses, and even gowns. Denim actually means from Nîmes, as it was invented in Nîmes, France. It gained popularity in the 1930s as a result of Western films featuring cowboys wearing denim jeans. Gingham. This is a sort of fabric that was formerly solely made of cotton before the arrival of synthetic fibers. 
Gingham gets its name from the Malay word gengam, which means stripe. They design it so that the designs can vary in size and be visible from the inside out. Gingham is typically made with two complementary colors. Those hues are usually a blend of red, blue, and white. It can be found on tablecloths, casual button-down shirts, and t-shirts. Because gingham is so simple to create, it's a popular fabric in mass production fabric retailers. Jersey. Wool is used to manufacture jersey fabric. People frequently use it for sweatshirts and bedding since it is stretchable and currently created from a blend of cotton and synthetic fabric. During the Dark Ages, they discovered it in Jersey, Channel Islands. Coco Chanel, the founder of the haute fashion label Chanel, reinvented the use of jerseys by creating dresses and coats for ladies out of them. Lace. Chantilly lace, as previously mentioned, is a form of lace. This fabric is thin and readily frays, but it has distinct designs, usually floral. It was initially constructed of silk and linen, but cotton threads and synthetic fiber have since supplanted them. Lace is still regarded a luxury item due to the intricate and thorough effort required to make it. In the 1800s, the machine was invented to mass produce lace. John Heathcote was the first to create lace that would not fray or break when cut. Lawn cloth was first produced in Laon, France, and is typically made of cotton. However, manufacturers can still utilize various textiles to make it. Other names for the lawn include batiste, ninesook, and cotton lawn. Weavers create grass fabrics using a simple, plain weaving technique. People used to solely make it out of linen, but once they could trade with India, cotton became an option. As a result of their exchanges, India chose to produce their own lawn cloth out of cotton, giving birth to the fabric we know today. Animal skins and hides are used to produce leather cloth. It's also the one with the most variety since most animals may be made into leather. Cows, on the other hand, are the most common source of leather. Other popular animal leathers include stingrays, crocodiles, and pigs. Leather can become exceptionally high grade depending on the quality of the animal parts. It is wrinkle-free and water-resistant. To many people throughout the world, wearing leather is a kind of animal cruelty. This is because the enormous production of leather places a high demand on a large number of animals. Modal. Modal is made from beech tree pulp. Furthermore, it is produced as a semi-synthetic fabric, typically made of rayon. It is more expensive than viscose or cotton and is primarily used for garments. During the 1950s, Japan also invented a new sort of fabric. Muslin. Muslin, once considered a luxury fabric, is now an important fabric in the fashion world since it assists designers in the visual look of their products. While many people assume that muslin originated in Mosul, Iraq, there is evidence that it was initially utilized in ancient India. It was known as jandani in ancient India, and it was bright, lightweight, and sheer. Organza. Organza is made from synthetic or silk fibers. Organza is a lightweight cloth that was invented in Turkestan. Organza is used by designers and producers for apparel fabrics such as scarves, headdresses, and blouses. Curtains can also be made from organza. Organza appears clear and thin on the surface. As a result, designers frequently pair it with a thicker fabric to provide texture. Previously, only silk was used to manufacture organza. Manufacturers can now make it out of synthetic fibers. Its name is derived from the word organzine, which refers to a silk fabric formed by twisting. Because of its dreamy appearance, organza is a popular fabric for bridal gowns among fashionistas. Polyester. Polyester is yet another synthetic fabric on our list. Polyester is distributed as a cotton alternative by manufacturers and retailers. Polyester is made from a startling combination of petrochemicals, which means chemists create it with coal or petroleum, making it durable. It does not, however, absorb sweat, making it constricting. W.H. Carothers Laboratory invented Terraline, which DuPont purchased the legal rights to and expanded the technology to create Dacron. It is a relatively new sort of fabric, having been introduced to America in the 1950s. Satin. There are many different sorts of satin, but they all have a shiny front and a rough back. The word satin is derived from Zaitan, an Arabic word that translates to Quanjo, the Chinese port where it was invented 2,000 years ago. Due of its exorbitant cost, it was only used by the church and the elite. King Louis XIV, Marie Antoinette's husband, utilized satin for his furnishings in the Palace of Versailles. Today, it is primarily a fashion fabric rather than a noble fabric. In addition, satin made upholstery is still available. 
Silk is used by experts as a dress material or for silk curtains. Historians consider it to be one of the most valuable consumer items ever traded. Designers admire its gleaming but supple textures. The organic fiber used to make it from silkworms was discovered by the ancient Chinese, who developed the sericulture procedure to generate a controlled amount. It was termed the Silk Road. They traded with China for consumer products and cultural knowledge throughout the era of the Roman Empire. This aided the Chinese in obtaining wool fabric and precious metals such as silver and gold. In exchange, they traded silk with the Roman Empire, giving rise to the Silk Road trade route. It was previously a popular trade route that became perilous after the fall of the Roman Empire. Spandex. This is a sort of synthetic fabric known for its elasticity, which allows for more body movement. It is also known as elastane and lycra. During the disco era, spandex was popular. It is also incredibly adaptable. For comfort, spandex is used in costumes, athleisure, and undergarments. Suede. Animal skins and hides are used to produce leather. Meanwhile, they produce suede using solely the underside of animals. People, however, only identify suede with lambskin. The truth is that other animals can be used to make suede as well. Pigs, goats, deer, and calves are examples. Suede is frequently used in footwear because to its durability and flexibility. Suede is easier to mold than leather and can be used to make purses or belts. Synthetic. Synthetic fibers are used to make synthetic cloth. Synthetic fibers, as created by chemists, are not found in nature. Synthetic fabrics come in a variety of materials, including nylon, rayon, polyester, and others. The first synthetic fabric was created by Audemars, a Swiss scientist who created synthetic silk from mulberry tree bark. Sir Joseph Swan developed rayon, a synthetic cloth. DuPont Chemicals created additional synthetic fabrics in 1935, thanks to scientific advances, and introduced them to the public to make hosiers. Today, synthetic fabric can be found in a variety of clothing, including swimming suits. Taffeta. Taffeta must be made with silk or synthetic fibers. It's one of those gleaming textiles like silk and satin. Taffeta's weight varies depending on the weave, sheer material, and fiber used. Taffeta is a more popular lining than any other on the list because to its decorative design and soft texture. Toile. Toile de joy is a linen fabric. Toile was popular in France throughout the 1700s. They used it as wallpaper, as well as on bedsheets and other household items. In fact, the cottage core aesthetic is giving them new life. You've probably seen toile cloth in your grandmother's home. Tulle. This is a lightweight fabric that is commonly used in dresses for ballerina tutus, bridal gowns, and other special occasions. Tulle is a delicate fabric that is soft and easily ripped. Tulle can also be used for needlework. It can also be used to give texture or motifs to a dress or floral arrangements. Tulle can become transparent or bright depending on the hue. Tweed. When fashion aficionados think of tweed, they immediately think of the premium fashion company Chanel and their signature tweed jacket. Lady Dunmore, Queen Victoria's lady-in-waiting, was the one who introduced the fabric to the British aristocracy. It was made of wool and was originally a Scottish product. Tweed is known by several different names, the most common of which are fleece, cashmere, fur, and wool. Sheep are the most common source of wool. The truth, however, is that wool can come from animals other than sheep. It is not as breathable as cotton, but it provides adequate warmth in cold conditions. Twill. The diagonal pattern of twill cloth makes it immediately identifiable. In some circumstances, the patterns can shift to herringbone patterns. Denim is, in reality, a form of twill. Twill is used in the production of several neckties. It's also common in furniture and home goods. It is one of the principal types of materials, along with satin and silk. There are two sides to it, the technical front and the technical back. This is because the technical face is more robust and is usually visible from the outside. Velvet. Velvet is one of the most well-known materials due to its wonderfully smooth texture. It gets its name from the word velvety, which meaning soft. Designers utilize velvet to give off a high-end sense to their products. Such gowns were popular in the 1970s and returned to the spotlight in the late 2010s. Velvet upholstery fabric is one of those textiles that you would find on a sensuous couch or in a historical film, as velvet appears to be reserved for nobles. Viscose. This is the type of fabric you most likely have in your closet but are unaware of. 
Wood pulp is used to make viscose. Viscose can be used in place of silk, which is more expensive. It was found in the 1800s by Charles Frederick Cross. Because viscose is less expensive than silk, it is occasionally used as a substitute for silk fabric by mass makers. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel, since we will be covering a lot of similar content in the future. Till next time, stay curious.